Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV. Welcome to the 2015 Motorcycle Tires Buyer's Guide. Here at RevZilla, I'd say just about every person underneath our roof is an avid tire wrecker and or traction nerd. We're bringing you the very best of 2015's tires. Some of these are gonna be old standbys, and then we've got a couple surprises that are new to us here at RevZilla. If at any point you wanna skip below to the area of interest and your, as far as your tires are concerned, definitely get to that. We're gonna kick things off with street performance tires for those of you guys who really like to stick to the tarmac. Then we're gonna move into street mileage tires for those of you racking up big miles on your touring bikes. And for those of you who take the path a little less traveled, we're gonna be batting clean up with some on off-road tires, specifically stuff for duallys and ADVs. As for right now though, let's get right into street traction stuff. So we're going to start off with a tire I think is not typically thought of as your stereotypical performance tire, but it is a performance tire in every meaning of that term. We're talking about the Pirelli Night Dragon here. The Pirelli Night Dragon is going to be a great option for those of you who are riding like you're on a sport bike, but you're actually on a heavy cruiser. So I'm thinking of those of you guys on heavily modified Dynas and Softail, Suzuki M109Rs, V-Rods, stuff that is fast but doesn't look like a fast bike. A lot of times you guys get hosed on rubber that offers good traction. Well, the Night Dragon is going to let you stick to the tarmac. This stuff, instead of letting your rear end slide around, is going to let you bite in. I know I've been on some six, seven, eight hundred pound bikes and feeling that rear tail kicking around is not a confidence inspiring feeling. Instead, what the Night Dragon allows you to do is stick right to the road. It's going to let you lean over a little bit further and it's going to let you start grinding off some parts. Now, the grinding off parts is fantastic, but if you're like me, you recognize we want to chase down the fast guys, you got to pay to play. Let's move on to the next one. Next on the docket is the Metzler Sportec M7RR. The M7RR is a performance tire that offers exceptional wet weather. Specifically, I'm thinking of you guys right now on 600s, 1000s, your typical sport bike, but this thing is gonna be for those of you guys who ride rain or shine. Not necessarily commuting, you know that if you wake up Saturday or Sunday, you're going to ride hard, even if it's wet out. This is the tire you want. It's gonna give you all sorts of confidence. And the reason it's gonna give you confidence is because they baked silica right into this tire. There's loads of silica in here, and silica is the stuff you need for wet weather traction. This thing is going to stick to the road. Dual compound rears, single compound fronts, so you're going to get good bite, but also acceptable mileage out of this particular tire. The Metzler M7 Sportec is pretty new to us at RevZilla. We really just saw them start walking the door very recently. I'm super eager to see how these things turn out, and I can't wait to see some of you guys who are running these on your bikes. Leave me some comments down below. I have not heard enough about this tire to stick one on my own bike yet, but I am really excited to do so. so definitely make sure you leave me something down below that uh, shares your experience if you happen to be running this tire. Moving on from there, we're going to back clean up with the Dunlop Q3. This tire has so much stuff baked right inside of it. It's got so much technology and it just looks like a plain Jane tire. So the first thing you're going to see on this thing is the dual compound tread. I think you can probably even check out the zones on here. That's again going to give you different levels of sticky. It's going to get stickier as you get onto the side of this tire. Now this is meant to be a 50-50 tire. This is going to be just as good on the track as it is on the street. So for those of you guys who commute and race on the same bike, this is what you want on your motorcycle. This is going to hold up as a track tire, but it's not going to require those insane warm-up times that some track tires can need. The other thing I love about this on the sidewall, CFT, Dunlop's carbon fiber technology. They've loaded carbon fiber into the sidewall. What it does, it stiffens up the sidewall. What you feel is more road coming through your tires. Whether it's through your handlebars or it's actually through that minimalist seat you got on there, you're going to feel what the road and the bike are doing underneath you because of that. Did I mention that this thing also happens to be made in America? Because it is. I think that that's pretty important. Now, if you like any of these traction-based tires you've seen up here, click below. Check out the whole tire gear guide collection at RevZilla.com. After that, those of you who are a little more interested in having a longer affair with your tires, we're coming up to street mileage stuff next. I'm standing up here with some tires that have come out of the ZLA warehouse that we have elected as the best as far as giving you bang for your buck with respect to mileage. However, those of you who have laid down big miles on a motorcycle recognize treadwear is not the only thing that makes up a great tire.
You can see I have in front of me here a Pirelli Angel GT. This is the tire for those of you guys who happen to have a touring rig that might crank out 150 horsepower. Specifically, I'm looking at those of you guys on Yamaha FJRs, Kawasaki Concourses. This is a tire that's going to mate well with those bikes, sporting characteristics, but also give you very acceptable tread life. Most of you guys on a comfortable bike like that think nothing of going and knocking off a thousand miles at a clip. I just slammed a set of these onto an FZ6 I have. It's my commuter. I do 68 miles each way to work. I do not feel like having some super sticky tire on there. I'm doing nothing but slab. This thing is going to take care of it. Lots of silica like the other water-based tires. So those of you guys who know you're running into bad weather can feel comfortable being on a Pirelli Angel GT. This is a tire you're definitely going to want to kind of stretch out a little bit. Uh, one of my good friends, Dr. Benway, runs a set of these on his fully loaded Hayabusa and that's what he takes camping into the woods. He loves these tires, has nothing but praise for them. Um, I've really been enjoying the set that I threw on my Yamaha. I'm serious. I think a lot of you guys are going to love this tire, especially those of you on higher horsepower touring machines. Let's move down the line. You can see we have here a Michelin Pilot PR4, Pilot Roads. These things are fantastic tires. If you should call up to Rosilla, you are generic Sammy sport bike on your generic sport bike, 600cc, something or other, and we don't know much about you or your riding style, this is the tire we are most likely to recommend to you. Why? Because it does everything really well. You can see here, this thing's got loads of siping. The siping's gonna help move some water out for you. This is also the only tire you're gonna see up here on any of the tables that is dual compound front and dual compound rear. So that means you're getting great mileage out of this puppy from the center stripe, but you're also gonna get a little bit of stick to on the sides. It's gonna adhere well to the tarmac. Again, lots of silica in here. It's gonna do well with wet weather. Again, if we don't know exactly what it is you want, and maybe you don't even know exactly what it is you want, put a PR4 on there. We're very sure that you're gonna have a great, great time with that tire. And that's why it's up here in our 2015 tire gear guide. Let's get that thing out of the way. And we're moving on now to the Michelin Commander 2. The Commander 2 is a super cool tire for those of you guys riding big bikes, cruisers, HDs. I think for all of us, the old standby has been the M80 uh, Marathon tire. I know I've used a billion of those in some of my old Harleys just trying to get maximum mileage. I'm getting out there, plowing miles down, and all I need is a tire that's going to put up with the beating. The Commander 2 has pretty much supplanted that. Loads of silica in this stuff. The silica is going to help this thing do well in the wet. Those of you guys who are out there doing big miles, recognize you're going to run through nasty weather. It's just a question of how much and when are you going to hit it? Commander 2 can deal well with that, but I think the area where this thing absolutely shines is going to be in its actual mileage. We're getting reports of guys on e-glides fully loaded and they're getting upwards of 20,000 miles on some of these rear tires. That is an insane amount of mileage. I would not be surprised if we at Revzilla are selling more of these for tires that have been replaced due to age and cracking than we have for burning out. They're just, they're, they're so long lasting, it's insane, but they don't give up any of the grip. It really is like tire magic. The other thing I do kind of like here, and some of you guys are also probably going to get with this, some of the sidewall treatment they've done on this particular tire. It's a little crazy, a little flamey tribal looking stuff. Maybe not exactly my style, but hey, those of you guys on newer bikes probably going to like it because it's going to look decent with your late model Harley or Cruiser. Now, if you like anything you've seen up here, click below, check out the entire gear guide collection. Make sure you pick something up so they still got money in the budget for me to be here to do the 2016 tire gear guide. Those of you who are still watching, stay tuned. We're coming into some off-road based stuff next. Reporting for dirt duty. If you are looking for a tire to take you over the road and then off of it, you've entered the correct section of the video. Let's show you what is the best we have at Revzilla for 2015. First up, the Continental TKC70. The TKC70 is for those of you guys who have run a TKC80 and said this tire wore out way too fast for me. If you take a peek at this thing, the TKC70 is a tire that's going to be really a 60-40 tire. You're going to be spending most of your life on road, typically, but you can get off road with this puppy. You can see there are some big chunky knobs on here. There are huge voids between the knobs. But some of the stuff that makes this thing great for on-road, this continuous center rib right here. The continuous center rib on the TKC70 does two things for you. 
First, it keeps your noise down. Doesn't sound like you're rolling around on a Jeep with a big old set of super swampers on it. The other thing it's gonna do for you is keep your wear down. Some of you guys who have a tire that's more dirt oriented and you're running on the road, realize you get that really crazy wear, especially that heel toe edge wear on some of the tread blocks. TKC 70 is gonna avoid that because if you look at this thing, you can see right here, this is really kind of a street profile. Yes, there are these huge ports on here for mud ejection, but realistically speaking, overall, this is a pretty smooth tire. This is something it is going to hold up well on the road. I know it's not the sexiest looking tire out there, but there's something to be said for selecting a tire that honestly matches what kind of riding it is that you're going to be doing. Let's get this thing out of here and move on to the next one. Now we're moving to a true 50-50 tire, the Heidenau K60 Scout Cinderella Story right out of Bushwood. Anybody who's been with ZLA for any type of time period whatsoever knows that we love the K60 Scout. This is, I believe, a four-time gear guide champion. I think that's some sort of record somewhere. These things really just make a lot of riders happy. These are gonna be great for those of you on ADV bikes, some of your adventure style stuff, and also those of you on like dually trail style bikes. This is gonna cover a lot of you guys who are getting off-road quite a bit of the time. Now, one of the cool things about the K60 Scout, I think, are the sidewalls. Super heavy sidewalls on this particular tire. I know a lot of you guys on heavier bikes, I'm looking at you guys, BMW 12 GS, you air down so you get good traction when you're off-road. Now, airing down a tire is always considered tire abuse, but we still need to do it from time to time. Why? Because we need to grab, need to get out of Dodge, need to get out of the mud. Because of those thick sidewalls on the K60 Scout, it holds up well. Don't forget to air back up when you do come back on road. The other thing I really love about these is the way these are designed. K60 Scouts do not have the same tread pattern all the way across the range. You can see this continuous center rib. This is a 17 inch tire. All of the 17s have that continuous center rib. Hyde now realizes those of you guys who have 17 inch rear wheels are running these things on bigger road oriented bikes. Tigers, Stroms, those of you guys out there who have a bike that actually lays down some horsepower, you know, Hyde now realizes that you're going to be taking these things on the road as well and you don't want funny wear. So you'll find that continuous rib we talked about before also on the K60 Scalp and on the 17 inch stuff. The other sizes, Hyde now realizes you guys are mostly dirt oriented and you don't really care so much about your tire life. But if you're looking for a true 50 50 tire, the K60 Scout is where it's at. The one word I will say though, I'm looking next year for the Midas ME07 tire to come after this thing. It is positioned squarely to go after K60 Scout's jugular. I'm very excited to see how that tire does. It's new to us at Revzilla. Can't wait to see how it fares against the K60. Let's get that thing out of here. And now we're gonna go to the Mitas Getaway Tires, MC60s. These are gonna be your 40, 60 tire. If you're living most of your life out there in the mud, the dirt, the Getaway is a tire you wanna consider. The really cool part about this is its classic design. Huge tread blocks. This thing is gonna be very, very similar to those of you guys running a TKC80. This is an off-road base tire. One of the things I do like about this tire, again, in addition to cool sidewalls, just like the K60, this thing is going to hold up. These are built tough, but you can see here in the tread, this thing actually is a reversible tire. So you can run this thing one direction if you're trying to get you know, mild street manners in this thing. Maybe you're taking your, your off-road bike on road a little bit more. Maybe you're spending a little bit more time on the road trying to get to your favorite trail or you can spin that tire around and grab a little more hook, a little more bite in an off-road situation, especially where you're in loose, sandy soil. This is gonna be the jam for you. Let's get that thing out of here. So that concludes the end of our 2015 tires gear guide. If you see anything up here you love, if you see anything up here you love, Click and shop the entire collection of tires. And remember, this is part of our larger gear guide series. We're covering all sorts of stuff. Helmets, motorcycle parts, gloves, jackets. If you're interested in any of that stuff, check out our gear guides. We're gonna show you the hottest, freshest jams for 2015. If you've got questions, you can always drop me something down below in the comments section. If you need immediate assistance, get in touch with one of the gear geeks, 877-792-9455. Or you can always drop me an email, cs at revzilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.